Well, welcome to Water with Job uh, on Wednesday morning, or whenever it is that you're watching this. What are human beings? That's a really important question because we live in a culture where a lot of people don't know. People seem really confused. We see, we see this in the kind of gender, transgender stuff, but we also see it in how we value humans. I've been watching Netflix's The Squid Game. I'm writing an article about that, uh, which I'll put a link to. And at one point, one of the characters says, I'm a human, not a horse. Meaning you don't just bet on me. You don't just treat me like an animal. But what is a human? Well, Eliphaz has a very negative view of that. In chapter 15 and verse 14, he says, What are mortals that they could be pure? Or those born of woman that they could be righteous? If God places no trust in his holy ones, if even the heavens are not pure in his eyes, how much less mortals who are vile and corrupt? Well, those of you who are aware of human nature and those of you who know biblical theology will look at this and say, well, isn't, isn't that right? Isn't that true? It is, but you can state truth in such a way that is exaggerated and false, and that's here. So, for example, he says, if God places no trust in his holy ones, if even the heavens are not pure in his eyes. Well, sorry, the heavens are pure in God's eyes. Where does he get that from? Sometimes in order, we think we can magnify God, but you, by adding to God's word, it's just as bad as taking away from it. But if humans are, what are human beings? Who, who am I? Born of woman, he says, you're vile and corrupt. It's as natural for you to do wrong as it is to drink water. Well, that's true of all of us, isn't it? Uh, it it's, it's true of me. And yet, and yet, there's something really big missing in this. There's nothing of Christ his, his view of God is so cold. There's nothing of forgiveness, nothing of the blood that cleanses. This is a far distant and cold God. This is not the God who weeps at the grave of Lazarus, not the one who dies to forgive us, not the one who gives his spirit that we might have a new heart and be cleansed, that we might be delivered from evil and delivered from our corruption and delivered from our vileness. So humanity is this, it's very simple. We are made in God's image. We are... We have, in the Catechism puts it, knowledge, righteousness, and holiness. We have this sen we, we have a sense of moral, right and wrong. We, we have a sense of the holy, uh, and we have an awareness. We, we have an awareness of God. We are made in the image of God, yet we are fallen creatures. We are fallen angels, if you like, and we're dying. Because of that, we are dying. Our, our, our bodies are not going to live forever and we're desperate because we just can't get rid of this evil and we can't stop this decay I mean we, we live in a culture we're doing this still at the time of COVID where people are going on and on about death and how we can pre prevent death and right now in Queensland for example the Premier is saying well we're going to prevent death well no you're not you're not going to prevent death it's going to come to all of us so is it just the case that that's just the way it is? If you're an atheist, you say, well, just suck it up. That's the way it is. It's the way of the world. If you're part of Eliphaz's system, you're saying, well, God is going to judge you. But the Christian has this hope in the second Adam, the second Adam being Christ. We can be raised up. We can be cleansed. We can be restored. In the words of the hymn, we can be ransomed, healed, restored, and forgiven. So what is a human being? What am I? I was asked this once at a debate in uh, Cambridge, I think it was, and the atheist with a, he had a big A on his chest. It was quite funny. He just kind of opened up his shirt and looked like Superman. And he then said to me, who do you think you are? And I said, what do you mean? I said, uh, I said, you mean, who do I think I am? I'm a Scottish Presbyterian pleb down here in darkest England shire and you know, why should you even, is that what you mean? He said, well, that, but he said, you're one of six billion people on a tiny planet in a massive universe. Who do you think you are? And I said, by your standards, by your worldview, that, that's valid. I said, but by mine, the Son of God loved me and gave himself for me, the one who created all this, 
also died for me. Who am I? I'm a child of God. I'm beloved. If you know Jesus, that's for you as well. So God bless you and see you tomorrow.